Welcome back everybody. Uh, if you've watched my first two tour videos, then you saw tours of Serenity Falls Estate, my primary residence and guild hall, as well as a tour of the Alvalothi Harbor House in Morrowind. Uh, this video here, I'm going to be showing you guys four of uh, the apartments or the smaller houses that I own um, across Tamriel. Um, of the four I'm going to show you that I own, I'm going to show you Mara's Kiss Public House here in Volkosgard in Oridon. It's like a beginner's apartment. Pretty much anyone can get it for free. All you need to do is the quest and it's yours. Uh, then I'll go ahead and go to uh, Grotwood in Elden Root and I'll show you my Snug Pod House. I think that one is like 60,000 gold in game to buy unfurnished and it's a really good deal. Uh, for a couple reasons, and we'll go over that more when we get there. Uh, and then the third one I'm going to show you is my Cyrodiilic Jungle House in Bandari uh, Trading Post. And then last but not least, I'll show you the St. Um, Delin um, Penthouse here in Vivek City. So first we'll start with uh, Mara's Kiss here in Google's Garden. It's a really small apartment. It looks way smaller than even this picture depicts. Um, I think there's only 30 furniture slots, so you kind of have to get creative to uh, fill it out and make it look homey and full. Um, and it also works for a really good storage area. If you just have a bunch of little knickknacks or something that you can't put in your other house, this is a good place for it. I used it for a storage area at first, but then I got bored one day and just came in here and decorated it. But like I said, it's nothing special. You really can't put much in here. It's pretty small, but it's free. Um, yeah, so it just kind of gives it to us for doing a quest for for public housing. So, so it is what it is. All right, Snug Pod is one of my favorite houses in ESO simply because it's cheap. Um, it's um, the location is really good. It's in Elden Root, and if you play for Aldmeri Dominion, they, you know that uh, there's a lot of daily stuff in Elden Root, like dungeon pledges and whatnot. So, um, uh, if anything, this house is just a free teleport to Elden Root whenever you need it. But like I said, it's also a 60,000 uh, gold house in-game, which is pretty cheap and relatively easy to come by if you quest or grind your ass off. So. Um, I like this house. I definitely recommend it. Um, the one thing about Snug Pod, as you can see here, is it is pretty small, but you can get innovative like I did and just add a second floor, uh, which is what I did here. And I pretty much, I almost doubled the square feet of this place. Maybe not quite, but um, I at least added 50% more square feet up top. So, um, But yeah, it's a cool place. It's called Snug Pod for a reason because it's nice and snug and it gives you that homey vibe but like i said um it's probably already paid for itself uh if you do the math for how many times i've traveled to snug pod to get to elden root instead of paying a way shrine fee uh to travel to elden root um okay so the fourth house the fourth house i'll show you guys is my sierra jungle house in my first two videos the tour of serenity falls estate and uh, the tour of Aldvalothi Harbor House. I was giving you a tour with my Imperial character, Phil the Imperial. Today I'm giving you a tour on my main uh, character, just Phil. I refer to him as Khajiit. But anyway, this Cyrodiilic Jungle House here is a uh, uh, property of Phil the Imperial. And you can see a lot of Imperial stuff um, reflected in that. So it's a cool house. If you saw my Aldvalothi house, then you'll notice a difference right off the bat. I sectioned off the pathway with these pebbles here, and then in the garden, I just littered the shit out of it with um, vegetation and trees, and it's pretty cool. Here's the outside area. It's a replica of uh, what a Imperial commander's camp would look like. Um, home bill stable with the imperial horse in there I have the commander's tent in here all decked out gotta have the skooma pipe of course and then a little camp area out here so looks nice I like it 
inside is really small in this house. You really can't do much. That's why I focused most of my stuff on the outside with the plants and whatnot. But uh, the inside's just a little room for shits and giggles. I put a toilet and a bathroom in here, which I thought was funny. And there's Phil Imperial's bed. He keeps it simple, man. All right. So that's the Cyrodiil Jungle House. I forget how much this one was uh, in-game gold, but it's also a good buy. Um, and it's also in Bandari Trade Post, where a lot of people like to go just because it has so many things so close to each other. Stables, merchants, um, etc. So. All right, and then the last house I'll show you guys for this video is the St. Dalen uh, Penthouse in Vivek City. Obviously, to gain access to this penthouse, um, you need to have the Morrowind DLC, which I think in most of my videos I strongly recommend. It's very fun, especially if you're a Elder Scrolls fan like myself and you've been playing, you know, Oblivion, Skyrim, and Morrowind since <clears throat> 2008 or whatever. So, um, uh, but the St. Dalen penthouse is uh, uh, really cool because it's only 3,000 gold, if I remember correctly, which is like absolutely nothing. You can make 3,000 gold in five minutes. And for the square feet, it's not bad, as you can see. It's double or triple the size of the Mara uh, Kiss apartment. Um, it still only has 30 furniture slots, which kind of sucks. Um, so you got to kind of watch what you do in here. But if you do it right, uh, you can give it a good homey look and make it feel full and not like you ran out of furniture slots. So, in this one, I obviously did the uh, Khajiit theme. So, built in fireplace and all. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. That's all my houses. And uh, you guys take it easy. Join the Kusa clan.